MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're brand new to the MK Love fam, my name is Mel. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. Now, this week for Weekly Angel Guidance, we are going to be going through three phases of the moon. We're going to be starting the week out in the full moon in Scorpio, as you can see with this beautiful card right here. <laughs> Then, so it's going to be from Monday to Tuesday. Now this is, oh, I kind of don't really want to brush over this too much, but this is kind of a really massive time that we're going to be going through, a really big transformation that I feel. We've kind of been talking about making a decision and then taking inspired action. I feel like something magical has either happened because this was occurring last week as the energies are being brought forward. And last week I was really confused about the affirmation associated with it. And I'm still haven't really figured that out yet. What I have come up because full moons to me is a time of release. Um, it's a time if you're looking in fertility that you're releasing um, your eggs. So you're ovulating. Um, this is also I always used to say it's releasing what no longer serves you. But then last week I've kind of been a bit jolted and I kind of feel the same too. So I'm kind of in between. I used to say the full moon is the time to release anything or anyone that no longer serves your highest good. But now I'm kind of toying with the new affirmation where I'm where I'm talking about, I celebrate the magic I'm birthing as it's coming from a place of love. So I'm not really sure because I normally would do a full moon release ceremony, but now I'm looking at a release ceremony in a completely different light. I don't know if it's because I'm going through this massive evolution and awakening at the moment. I'm not really sure, but it's a full moon. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> then, oh, have I got these mixed up? No, I haven't. Okay, so then from Wednesday to Saturday, we have the disseminating moon. This is when you can receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. This can look completely different depending, depending on where you are in your journey. And then on Sunday, we have the last quarter of the moon. This is when we breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. This is balancing the yin and the yang energies. So that's basically what's going on for this week. Let's find out what's happening with our tarot cards. So let me move these ones up here. All right. All right, angels. Does my beautiful MK Love fam need to know? Now this week I kind of want to pull the focus card first so we can start to tell the story. Also, a massive apologies for last week. Oh my gosh, I was having so many internet troubles and my video normally takes like 20 to 30 minutes to upload. It took two and a half hours and then it was way past when it was meant to be live. So I just uploaded it without doing the live chat. So if you're wondering why the live chat wasn't going on last week, I had some issues. Anyways, I've just had some cards flip over. All right, let's just shuffle them this way and then we'll just go from there. Okay, all right angels, what is the focus card from May the 20th to the 26th? My beautiful MK Love fam. One card please. What's the focus of this week? Do we need to know? There it is. Oh. The Six of Pentacles. This is an interesting card. The Six of Pentacles used to really trick me up when I first started reading tarot. The Six of Pentacles is also about, it's kind of like how everything is interconnected. Um, and then I heard the circle of life. Everything is interconnected. And this is interesting because I'm reading this for, this is what the whole week is about. And I have a really itchy, head. What does that mean? Okay. So the six of pentacles, six is well, pentacles is abundance, but this is like, can you see like you've got the piper up the top and he's like in his own little world, but he's unaware that there's all of this abundance that is, that is spilling out of this, I don't know, some waterfall and it is bringing life and it is nourishing the beautiful 
ground, the ground around him and there's this lovely shoot that is coming through and around it is all of these yucky kind of vines. So it's like finding, I've heard find the needle in the haystack. What does that mean? How does that link in with this? I feel like this is nourishing other parts of your life. Maybe you aren't aware of what parts you were nourishing yet. I kind of feel like you are. This is so bizarre. Why am I reading this card like it? I just, I just feel as soon as I pulled the card, the first thing I thought was interconnectedness. Everything is interconnectedness. If you're putting out bad vibes into the universe, you're going to receive more of that. It's the law of attraction. I've never read this card as like the law of attraction before. Do I need clarity? No, that's telling me no. Okay. Let's go into Monday. So let's just take it from like interconnectedness. Everything is, is linked together. Think of it as in like the flower of life. Think of it as the circle of life. Think of it as the giving and the receiving. Okay, let's see what we need to know for Monday. How does this fit in angels? By the way, if you're new to the fam, this is a general reading. I'm reading for all of the different signs of the zodiac, but just take from this what feels best from you, okay? Okay, so Monday, we have the Knight of Pentacles, amazing card. Pentacles is abundance is coming towards you and it's coming at quite a rapid, a rapid pace. Now the Knight, he's on this journey, he's like, I won't back down and I won't give up. And he's on this quest. Above him, which is quite interesting, I see like three, I've never seen this before. Can you see just above the branch near his face, you'll see like three different kind of, looks like bulbs or three things of light hanging down. It's like he's passing through. Is it a test? Has he been through a test? Is there three, is there battle wounds? I don't know, no, initiation? It's like, have you passed the initiation and you're just beaming? Um, Moving at a speed of light, I'm gonna make a supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time. Okay, well that's, that is amazing energy. Let's see what we need to know for Tuesday. So this is like you're on the quest and it's like, yeah, this is the full moon, but this is a different type of full moon. Maybe this is why I've been tricked up the last couple of weeks. I'm like, this full moon doesn't really feel like a full moon. Is this because we're all evolving to a different level of consciousness? I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so Tuesday is still in the full moon. So I celebrate the magic I'm birthing as it's coming from a place of love. Ooh, okay, there are some cards that have flipped There's way too many. I don't need four cards, please. Can I just have one? And then if I need clarity, I will ask. Tuesday, what do my MK Love fam need to know collectively for Tuesday, no matter where you are in the world? Tuesday, there it is. Okay, so the five of wands. Okay, wands is your passion project. It's like you've got this fire in your belly and you're determined. The five also represents <clears throat> Great chakra blockages, but it also represents that you are moving through the contrast. And then I had that song, moving, um, cruising down the freeway in the hot, hot sun. Interesting that that song came up because I was journaling the other day and I saw myself in a white convertible and I've never really been a convertible kind of person going down Malibu with all of the beautiful houses on the water. And it was just like this most liberating, free feeling. I kind of feel like you're, like the contrast is coming, but you're kind of like got the armor on now because you've been doing like the inner work. You've been spending a lot of time doing the inner work. And if I keep going back to this one, it's the interconnectedness. You have been doing the inner work and that's why you're kind of like moving at a speed of light. So I feel like things are gonna be picking up for you quite rapidly in this full moon. I don't know what you're doing on this full moon or what you have been doing because I've kind of been feeling like, yeah, I've been saying, okay, make your decision now that you you know some of you took a couple of weeks to make the decision and then you some of you are starting to act on it and now you may be like 
left is ready to march forward. All right, so let's have a look for Tuesday, which is our disseminating moon. When we receive abundance, whoa, did you just see that card? It is flying. Are we just flying all right? Because it's the flipping knight of wands. Okay, so we've got two wands, we've got two knights now. Ooh, this is amazing. This is kind of like, like the chest is puffed to assert your dominance or assert your place in the world. However that looks like for you, that could be in the home, that could be in the office, could, this could be speaking up for yourself. But this is kind of like, I keep hearing that sound, I won't back down. I won't back down, I won't give, I won't, what was it, give in. I'm just trying to see if I can figure out what the lyrics are. Oh, I've got to type in lyrics. <laughs> well, I won't back down, no I won't. You can, I don't know how this song goes. Is this even the right song? I'll stand my ground, I won't back down. There ain't no easy way out. Hey, I will stand my ground and I won't back down. Yeah, so this is kind of like you're asserting your dominance. Now that things, are, I kind of feel like now that you've balanced the giving and the receiving, which is interesting that this is happening in the receiving phase of the moon. The Knight of Wands. I'm just trying to piece all of this together. The Knight of Wands. So he's moving, but he's kind of like the, the pack leader. Like you've got all these little foxes around him and he's kind of like, no, this is like, he's in charge. And he also has like a, a chess piece on and he's got like a green, I don't know, jewel green, which is the heart chakra. Like you're, you're moving, you're acting from a place of love instead of fear now and scarcity. Any other lyrics I can get to that song? It's basically the same. I'm gonna stand my ground, I won't back down. Hey baby, there's no easy way out. Yeah. And I just feel like you're just kind of becoming more fierce now. Like maybe you're not real, maybe you're only just seeing this side of yourself. I don't know. All right, so when Thursday, Thursday, which is still the receiving phase of the moon. We have the six of cups. I love this card. This is like pure, positive, childlike energy. The six of cups is all about imagination. Um, like you can see this little girl is having a tea party with her little animals in the wilderness. So this could be like going out in mother nature, doing things that you used to do when you were a child receiving how do you receive abundance you need to get into a high vibrational state how do you do that you do the things that make you feel good like things that, what did you used to do when you were a child this is childlike energy if you're being too like um not strict i don't think strict is the right word but if you're being very like regimented you need to have more fun this is kind of like the fun card that that you know what i mean like childlike innocence um, those innocent eyes, I miss those days, and I miss those ways, when I get lost in fantasy. Um, innocent eyes, Delta, good drum, lovely song. Do you remember when you were seven and the only thing that you wanted to do was show your mom you could play the piano? Ten years have passed and one thing the last is the same old song that we played alone made my mama cry. I miss those days and I miss those ways. When I got lost in fantasy seas in a cartoon land of mysteries, in a place you won't grow old, in a place that won't feel cold. Oh, so you have to go back to your happy place. Da -da 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 Seems I'm lost in my reflection. Find a star for my direction. For the little guy, girl who's, oh shit. Oh, goosebumps. Uh, for the little girl inside. I just lost my place. For the little girl inside who won't just hide. Don't let me see mistakes and lies. 
let me keep my faith in innocent eyes. Oh, so the childlike innocent, it's like you don't want to see the bad in people. What did she say? Do you remember when I was 15 and the kids at school called you a fool because you took a chance to dream? Oh yeah. Okay, so this is like doing things that you know that you need to do, regardless of what other people think of you. Because, you know, pe the only people that are ever going to criticize you are people who are not at your level. They're never going to be ahead of you. They're always going to be below you, which is not a nice way to say it. Um, um, what else did she say? Da -da 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 -da. Under my feel... Under my feeling, under my skin, under the thoughts within, learning the subtext of my mind, see creation how we were defined. Jesus, I didn't realize Delta was so like, boom. This is such an old song too. Okay, so the innocent eyes, seeing this from a place of love, doing things that make you feel good. Just, it's more play. It's more like where she said like that innocence, what was that thing? Don't let me see mistakes in lies. Let me keep my inner. Um, under the thoughts from within, learning the subtext of the mind. This is a law of attraction. It's like, what is your self talk? Are you talking about yourself? Like saying like, I am, I am flipping amazing. Like I am so beautiful. I am changing the world. I am learning. I am learning every single day to become the best flipping person I could possibly ever be. Like, what's the subtext under the mind? What's your self-talk? If you analyze that subtalk, is it from a place of love or is it a place from fear? Oh, that's brilliant. Learning the subtext of my mind, see creation how we were defined. We were born into this world of pure positive energy. This is amazing that this is all coming together in this full moon in Scorpio. Everything is interconnected. You choose negative thoughts, you're going to create a negative world. And your angels are saying for Thursday in the receiving phase of the moon, you need to lighten it up a bit. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so for Friday, it's the world, which is the last. The world is, is number 21 of the Arcanas. It, it is the last step. Your life is about to transform. Holy flipping shit, both. Oh my God. Yes. Ah, the world is you have gotten to an end, not an end of the wands or the cups or the pentacles or whatever. This is the end of not your life, but the life is in as, as how you know it. Your life is about to shift. You've gotten to the end. You have, oh my God, you have done it. All of this shit that we have been going through. If I look back on my life, I would say from February, things really turned to shit. Things really shifted. But you, what's happened is you have been doing the internal work, which is preparing you for what's going to be manifesting externally. You're going to be able to breathe again. You are lit. And the receiving phase of the moon is you're receiving you again. You are receiving this new you that you have been creating and you have been working so flipping hard about. You're receiving this new version of you. This You have stepped up to the plate. And um, oh, well, what's that thing from um, Jim Carrey? Um, oh, it's a line from Laia Laia. It's like... Um, Oh, I had left, I lost it. God, it was going to be so good. Now I can't remember what it is. Oh, you want to play hardball? I'm gay. Like, that's what I hear. Like, yeah, you want to play hardball? Okay. It's kind of like beating someone to the punch of it, you know? Not that I mean literally punching someone because I don't condemn violence at any sort. And plus we've got the six of, one, uh, six of cups, which is, you know, the innocence would be like, oh, it's okay. Oh, shit like this is this is what this whole deck is about the tarot deck is about going on this dreamer's journey going through all of these different chapters this is massive i can't stress to you how big this is we're at 10 20 minutes in and i've got 10 minutes left before my camera will run out so i need to keep going ah! it's all interconnected because that you you've 
you have found a way to correct, to correct the balance of the giving and the receiving. Oh my God. This is my fight song. I take back my life song. Prove I'm all right song. Don't know the words of the rest of the song. All right, Saturday. Saturday, then I heard, it's the final countdown. All right, what the foot is happening on Saturday after that card? There was a lot, but that was kind of like, Poof. oh, <laughs> it's the Queen of Cups. This is amazing. Okay, the Queen of Cups is free. It's kind of like, what does everyone, like literally, what does everyone want to manifest in their dream life? unconditional inner freedom. What does that inner freedom look like for you? Does that look like looking in the mirror and you'd be like, I can breathe easy today. I have money in the bank to pay for this week's rent or I have money in the bank to buy this my, my, my new plant. I started, I feng shui my desk again and every time, well, because I've been moving so much, I haven't been able to feng shui. I haven't done it properly yet because I'm still missing something from the top right hand corner which is a photo frame of me and my beautiful husband. But you know, just like little things, like, I don't know, what does this, I don't know, I'm very excited. Okay, I keep going back to unconditional inner freedom, which is exactly what I teach in my coaching program. <laughs> I say on my website, I'm like, how would you like to heal your childhood trauma so that you can manifest unconditional inner freedom? What does this inner freedom look like for you? Freedom to be like, yeah, I have money. Freedom to be like, I am free from all of this shit. I'm free from the trauma. I don't have to be someone who can say that um, that you were sexually abused. You know, you, you won't have to say that that's who you are. That was a part of your story, but that's not who you were becoming. You could be someone that could be empowering other people to recover from their sexual trauma, their physical trauma, you know, their emotional trauma, or being neglected as a child. Whatever it is, you're freeing yourself. You're getting to a stage where you are freeing the chains. Oh my God. Jane, Jane, Jane. Jane, Jane, Jane. For five long years. I thought you were my man, but I found out you're just a link in my chain. Chain of Fools by Aretha Franklin. Did you know that used to be my karaoke song until I realized what I was singing? And then I was singing at a time, which was 10 years ago, when I was in a chemical shitstorm. Where's the lyrics? Oh, go to Google, please. No, YouTube. No, not Gumtree. Jeez. <laughs> One moment, please. I'm going to be really, really quick. My camera's going to cut out. Um, chain. Oh, you can figure it out. Chain of fills. Oh, no, I really want to find the words just in case I miss something. Okay. Following. You got me where you want me. I ain't nothing but you feel. You treated me mean, you treated me cruel. Every chain has got a weak link. I might I might be weak, that's bullshit. You were weak, you're not anymore. Uh, you told me to leave you alone. My father said, come on home. My doctor said, take it easy. Oh, but your loving is much too strong. One of these mornings, the chain is gonna break. The chain is broken, darling. The chain has broken. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. You've broken the chain. You've broken the chain. What does that chain look like for you? Is this childhood trauma? Did you do this by yourself? Holy shit. Oh my God. On Sunday, it's the King of Pentacles. What a week. Hallelujah. The King of Pentacles is abundance. Abundance, however, this looks like for you. Financial, this could be relationship abundance. This could be relationship abundance with you. I feel like this is you. I feel like this is all about you. This week is yeah. Yes! Yes! Oh my God, you're breathing with ease because you broke something. You broke the cycle of something. You broke the sabotaging toxic shit that's been going on in your head. You broke something. You said F you to someone or you said, I'm leaving. <laughs> See you later. You know, you did something to break the cycle. You broke the sign. The chain is broken free. 
you are free. And now you're on the journey because you got the flipping world card on Friday. You've gotten to the stage where you're all like, <sighs> free falling. I don't know what that song is. If you can figure it out. Cause I'm free. Don't stop me now. Okay, amazing, 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 amazing week. I'm so excited for you, my loves. Oh my God, comment down below. What is this cycle that you are ending this week? Do you feel that you're prepping? Was this a dry spell that you were going through with your clients? Was this something where you felt that lack to work out because you're like, I can't get out of bed? It's okay, you were resting last week. You're prepping yourself because this week you're kind of like, it's flipping on. Sorry, my beautiful little money plant. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my loves, I am so excited for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this amazing episode of Weekly Angel Guidance, if I do say so myself. And I am sending you so much love, unconditional love for this week ahead. If you're new to the fam, please hit subscribe. And if you're watching, please hit the thumbs up button because that totally helps get this video shared further out into our beautiful MK Love fam. If you have any thoughts that you would love to share, just do an Insta story, tag me, and then I'll repost it on mine. Also, apologies for last week. I had so many troubles with my story and my voice messages, but um, hopefully that's all fixed now. Oh, if you feel stuck and you're like, Mel, like, why are you so excited? I don't feel this. Please check out my free exclusive training because I'm going to teach you how to heal your childhood trauma. I help you reprogram your subconscious, reconnect your body, your mind. No reprogram, then rebalance, rebalance the energy centers, which is your chakras, and then how to realign your body, your mind, and soul into alignment. That's when you become an unstoppable force and you're like, ah, that is pure unconditional inner freedom. Once you break that cycle, you change your thoughts because you know this week is all about the six of pentacles, which is all about the balance of the giving and the receiving, the interconnectedness of the words that you speak manifest into your life. If you need help, at all and you're like oh my god yes I feel like this is the week book in I've got spaces open I've made sure that I have got spaces open for this week I kind of just felt this week is different <sighs> thank you so much for watching have an amazing week please let me know what came up for you in the comments and if you have any other share any thoughts that you would love to share over on Instagram you're welcome to private message me I will get back to every single one of you have an amazing week <laughs> The world is yours. I am so proud of you. I am so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I love you. I love you. I love you. And if you join me on the live chat, I love you a little bit even more. Thanks so much, guys. And I will see you next week for another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. I love you. I love you. Goodbye.